What's up guys? Today I'll be showing you how to play the French horn if you're a trumpet player. Now this video is actually for a trumpet player who knows how to play the trumpet or actually knows all the fingerings from the very low F sharp to a high G and play. <laughs> is set to be the highest note on the uh, French horn, if I can get it. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that the mouthpiece are different. As you can see here, this is a horn and a trumpet, well in this case the cornet. As you can see, this is much more of a cup shaped mouthpiece. And this is a cone shaped mouthpiece. And the rim, this is thick and thin. And this mouthpiece produces a very, very mellow tone. This produces a bright sound. Now, holding the French horn. Do this number. And then get your right hand, rest them inside the belt, if not all the way in. And then your left hand, pinky rest in here, three, two, one, and then your thumb will rest in the valve. If you don't have a thumb valve, you'll see one of these on your thumb. And that's how you hold them. Now the other thing you're going to notice between the trumpet and the French horn is that they're both pitched in a different key. French horn pitched in F and the cornet is pitched in B flat. Now it's B flat and this pitch in F. And I believe the reason that it's an F is because it's, most, it's mostly based on balance and tone quality. Not only that, but you're also going to read differently. You're going to read an F for the French horn. So you're used to playing in B flat for the trumpet. Now you're going to have to read an F. So in other words, your C would be F concert. This is a trumpet C. To give you further information about uh, reading in a different key, the top staff represent for trumpet in B flat and the bottom staff represent horn in F. Now as you can see here, this is a C major scale and this is an F major scale, but the both in B flat major scale. <laughs> Now, like I said in the previous clip, the note C in a B flat staff is C, I mean, uh, it's B flat. And for the horn in F, the note C is F concert. So let's say, for example, horn in D. If we were reading in a horn in D, its C would be D concert. If you guys don't understand it, just let me know in the comments below, and that way maybe I can help you uh, much further. Now for the fingerings, as you can see here, this is the B flat staff, and those fingerings are for those notes, as you can see, C, D, F, G, O, 1, O, 1, O. It's pretty much the same thing for this, for the, uh, for the horn part, of course, in the F side, O, 1, O, 1, O, C, D, F, G, O, 1, O, 1, O. So in other words, uh, let's pick a note, C sharp. C sharp here it would have been one two, correct? Now the C sharp here, right here, would have been one two as well. So in other words, the whole fingering chart had been brought down an octave lower on the horn part. So that's all it is. Before we move on to the B flat side, I really want you to practice the F side only for at least about a week and a half or two. And that way you can get the hang of the fingerings uh, to how it sounds when you're playing a G, a D, or A. And that way you don't get confused while playing uh, the B flat side. Now for the B flat side. Now let me make this very clear. So when you're using the B flat side, you're gonna be you're gonna be reading an F regardless. Okay. Now, so when you're using the B flat side, it's the same exact pitch and fingerings of a trumpet, but an octave lower. The pitch is an octave lower. 
and of course the fingering as well. In other words, it's like you're playing a uh, baritone. And I'll show you an example. <laughs> With the trigger pressed. And that's all it is. It's the same fingering and same pitch, but again, an octave lower. Now, this is my personal way to learn how to read an F while using the B flat trigger or the B flat side. And I hope I don't confuse you guys. Now, as you can see here, there are four different notes in each staff, but they're the same pitch. Now you may have noticed that the fingerings on each staff are the same. Zero, one, two, two, open, and zero, one, two, two, open on the B flat side, of course. Now, I'm sure you can imagine from G to C how it goes. And obviously you know the fingerings. But what about this side? From C to F. And like I said, the fingering has been brought down by an octave lower. Same goes to the B flat side. So it's na, 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 na. Now this is my version of the B flat concert scale or F major scale. These two notes are the only notes that I use on the F side because the F side, in my opinion, is much more in tune than the B flat side. Same goes to this note, T12 or A because if I use T open, it's not going to be really in tune. So that's why I recommend you use T12. I also recommend that you use the trigger from A flat to the point you can top out because it's much more in tune. It has a little bit better tone quality and also you can avoid that little uh, split tone. Like for example, <laughs> for this video, one thing I did forget to mention is how to tune yourself on the French horn. Now, the horn itself is naturally sharp. But when you insert your hand inside the bell, it's in tune. Now, to tune yourself, you push in and out, just like the tuning slide on the uh, cornet right here. So you push in and out. Same thing you do with the hand. Push in and out. So when it's sharp, you push in, and when it's flat, you pull out. So it's pretty much the same thing as the trumpet. All right, guys, I'll do it for this video, and I'll see you on the next video.